Pastor Jamal, can you lay hands on me so God can send me a nigga? <laughs> diamonds on my body and they crystal clear. I make magic with these hundreds, watch them disappear. Uh huh. Big ol' raindrops up in my ear. If you gon' name drop, let's get it clear. Jesse, woo! What's up guys, welcome back to Jesse in Atlanta. It is Friday and uh, Friday morning and I'm on my way to Pastor Jamal Bryant's church. He has a podcast called Just Be Clear that he asked me to be on. So I'm going to go oblige him and do the podcast child. Preferably I could get Pastor Jamal Bryant to lay some hands on me so God can send me a husband, okay? I'm gonna ask him that. Pastor, can you lay your hands on me so God can send me a husband? Because <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of being single, Lord. I want me a husband. Send me my husband. I'm like, Pastor Jamal, can you lay hands on me so God can send me a nigga? <laughs> so God can send me a nigga? I'm ready for God to send me a nigga. But you know what? Like, Pastor Jamal Bryant is one of those pastors, like, who's always catching flack about something. And um, recently, you know, his name's been in the blogs. His name's always in the blogs. But I personally want to tell y'all that I love Pastor Jamal Bryant. And let me explain to you why. Pastor Jamal Bryant is someone, when I need help for something in the Haitian community, especially like here in Atlanta, he will drop everything and do it. I remember the last um, the earthquake that happened in Haiti it wasn't as big as the one that was over 10 years ago, but recently there was the, the earthquakes and the hurricanes that were hitting Haiti and we had to collect a lot of things. Pastor Jamal Bryant, I called him, I asked him if we could use new birth to collect stuff. We ended up using um, 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 Ernestine Morrison and her husband. Uh, they have a center, which is great. He's called the Dream Center. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting the, the name of the center, but um, Pastor Jamal Bryant sent us a check for $10,000 from the ch from uh, New Birth to cover sending everything. It, it was so much money to send things to Haiti and it took so many months to do so. Pastor Jamal Bryant gave us the check. When the Haitians were at the border in Texas, Pastor Jamal Bryant called me before I could call him but he called me, we did an Instagram live about it. He went to Texas, I went to Texas. Like, I even remember recently, probably like two years ago, there was another pastor, Pastor Keon, who's married to Shawnee. He was going viral for saying the reason why Haitians experience so many things is because Haitians uh, believe in voodoo. Like he was spreading a lot of xenophobic rhetoric from the pulpit. I called Pastor Jamal Bryant. Pastor Jamal gave me Ke uh, Pastor Keon's number directly. I was able to reach out to Pastor Keon directly and speak to him directly. And he was cool with speaking to me as long, because at first he thought I was just hilarious. He didn't know who Jesse Wu was. The minute he realized I wasn't just hilarious and I was Jesse Wu, somebody that wasn't significant to his community, he basically told me, well, you know what? Right now, the outrage is in your community, so that's where I'll leave it. I'm not going to address it. I'm not going to publicly apologize. Mind you, I had told him, I was like, I think you should apologize to the Haitian people. I also think that you should partner with a Haitian organization. The Haitian Bridge is right there in Texas where you had them fighting for a lot of um, legislation for Haitian immigrants coming into the country. and." Um, you know, he was cool with doing all that until he realized I wasn't just hilarious, that I was Jesse Wu. So, you know, I wasn't I wasn't a big staple in the African-American, you know, I, I didn't have millions of followers, you know what I mean? So the moment he realized that, he really just didn't give a fuck. And I subsequently was like, oh, let me unfollow this bitch. Like, fuck you. Fuck everything you stand for. Fuck your, like, just fuck you because as a black pastor sitting there acting like you're pro-black, you should never be pro-xenophobia and you should never, you should always be educated when it comes to that. Like, educate yourself. Educate yourself. Pastor Jamal, when I called Pastor Jamal and told him about that, he was very upset about it. He was like, yeah, like, there's, like, we, there's no reason why a black pastor should be standing up in the pulpit 
spreading xenophobic rhetoric in, in, in God's name. And so, fuck what y'all be talking about in the blogs. I love Pastor Jamal Bryant. Like, I love everything he stands for. Obviously, he's single. He, he's good looking. He's a pastor. And I think, you know, it's a dangerous thing to be a good looking, young, single pastor, black pastor, because everybody feels that you should be married. And, you know, it's a good thing to be married if you're going to be a pastor and you're leading people. And we know the history of new birth. We know how, I mean, new birth has been plagued with a lot of things in the past. But I really think that Pastor Jamal Bryant is someone that has a very, very good heart. He's shown himself to have a good heart to me. Um, someone who's not, you know, African-American. Someone who is a Haitian living in America. And how he's um, been very, very intentional about helping me whenever I need help in my community. And so... I'm always going to be team Pastor Jamal Bryant. Like, I'm always going to be team Pastor Jamal Bryant. So, um, he asked me to come do this podcast. And I'm like, oh, Lord. Friday morning, Lord. Fridays, I usually sleep in, Lord Jesus. Like, my weekend is Friday through Saturday. Uh, Friday to, through Sunday. That's my weekend. Like, I usually sleep in, Lord. But, you know, I'm going to get up, child. Get up. Get up. Get up get up child I'm gonna go do this podcast child see what the past is talking about um so yeah so yeah so let's go pay Pastor Jamal a visit and you know do his podcast and also see if he can pray God me God send me a nigga can you pray to God send me a nigga since God is in a prayer answering business, can you pray God send me a nigga? Can you pray? Can you pray God send me my husband? I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I do not want to go through another winter without a husband, Lord. I'm so tired. Oh my God! I should have been hugged up. I should have been up under my husband this winter. All this when it's cold outside. Who are you? Who that? been hooked up with my nigga okay so yeah y'all so let's go past past jamal bryant a visit honey the cathedral deliveries yeah then follow where that big cross steeple is cathedral i see cathedral south entrance it's a long long road <laughs> uh, okay, now this go to Sam Cook long. Okay, Cathedral Delivery. Are you in a white car? Yes. Keep coming. Oh, keep Come coming. On, keep coming straight. Keep pulling. Did you stop? Yeah. Keep going straight? Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, one thing about me, I'm going to back into the parking. Okay. <laughs> Back into the party. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I am vlogging. That's Is that okay? No, that's totally fine. Good uh, nice morning. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Jesse. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Say hi. <laughs> Follow me on social media, y'all. Yeah, at J A I Talk. Period. Period. Oh, oh yes, I'd love to. Oh y'all, look at Samson, child. These statues for some. Did you say Samson Chad? Mm, look at Samson oh, Chad. That's oh, where he at. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he still had his train. Uh -huh. Yes, oh, Lord. Like, oh, Pastor Jamal. Jacob. This is so dope. I'm so glad you are here. I'm glad to be here too. How, How are you? you? Hey. <laughs> say hi, PJ. Hey, everybody. <laughs> So why did PJ just have me crying on his podcast, child? Lord yes, have mercy. She look good doing it. <laughs> Y'all do not want to miss this episode. A couple of weeks, go to jamalbryant.org. Yes. Now, not me leaving the outskirts of Atlanta to go all the way to New Birth, so not to have Pastor Jamal Bryant lay hands on me for me to find me a husband, child. He did not help me find my husband. So I guess I got to come back for another episode, child. But if you saw it, Oh my God, I put the on that. If you sow it, you're gonna reap it back. The disciples were chosen. Not one of the disciples just walked up to Jesus and said, hey, I'm looking for a job. 
and I was thinking about being on your staff and being in your committee. Jesus chose all 12 of them, including Judas. He drafted them. I don't care what you're doing. Put your next down. Come on and follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Jesus was chosen. Father, if it be thy will, pass this bitter cup from me. It was the plot of the priests to put Jesus into this position. They had infiltrated public opinion. Set up is an opportunity for God to stand up and show himself strong. And I'm setting up a backdrop because. I have a song coming out and I'm just gonna do like something Not cool from case. home just for like some IG reels. So yeah. in my mind trying to figure out how does Mark know so the wall was just not given, so I actually ended up just doing this reel on a white wall in my house. But anyway, I have a song called Do For Do. It's out now, it's featuring scales. Please make sure you check it out. I'm actually about to go meet some of my friends for brunch. I never read where anybody thanked Simon. What's a given? But is it given? Nobody thanked him! Child, listen, I'm just... But it was still this on an At Leisure One Piece through this arm, child. And it is still... <laughs> now I'm putting on some, some sneakers. I have some, like, high tops yeah. downstairs. I'm just gonna wear that. God. Himself holiday. You have been crafted. You have been set aside for such a time as this. And you don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. It's not right. I don't know. I think it's given. Like me end up in it's a given. Man like this. All right, y'all. Right, we are headed to brunch, really, lunch. I didn't tell the girls that um, that this restaurant that we're going to doesn't serve brunch. I thought they served brunch, but um, when I was making the reservations, uh, well, quick backstory. Um, we, oh, I have like some lost footage that I really need to edit, but remember like the whole oyster girl moment? So when the oyster girl moment happened, we all went down to the oyster place. And um, there is like a parking lot behind that restaurant um, that everybody was parking at. And when I went to go park there, I needed cash and I didn't have any cash on me. I don't typically, typically I don't really carry cash on me like that. Like everything is Apple Pay for me, like either Apple Pay or my credit card. It's like, if I can't use either one of those things, I just, I just really just don't bother. Um, so anyway, um, so as I was going into the parking uh, lot, the guy was asking for cash. I didn't have any cash on me. And there was a guy driving out of the lot and I was like, Hey sir, uh, I really, I'm so sorry to bother you, but do you have $10 cash on you? I'll cash up you the $10. I just, I need the $10 so that I can pay for parking. And um, the guy was like, oh, here's the $10. Just come to my restaurant. I have a restaurant here called My, my Kitchen. Come to my restaurant and bring your friends. And I was like, oh, okay. And he gave me his IG. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, you know, I have a following on socials. So, you know, um... Is it okay if like I bring like my camera or whatever? He's like, yeah, sure, I'd, I'd love it. So that was like a couple months ago, and I'm just now getting around to going to visit the the restaurant. So I'm really really excited about um, going. Um, and he was the owner, and but so he's actually not going to be there because his son. We're going back and forth in text message, and his son is. Um, having surgery in New Orleans so he's gonna be out he's not gonna be there today but he's like you know my staff will be there and, you know, I'll, I'll let them know that you're coming by and they'll take care of you and I was like all right cool 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 
So I look forward to to tasting the food. I really do like Thai food a lot. Um, I typically like Thai food in New York. Um, honestly, I feel like New York is one of the best places for food. Period. Um, that's why I'm like I'm shocked that the Indian spot that I went to that I showed you guys about in my last vlog. That place is so freaking good. Like no like no bullshit. It's a really really good restaurant. Um, I typically only eat Indian food in New York. Like I don't really. I don't really be trusting, I don't really be trusting the girlies, like, outside of New York for Indian food and Thai food, even Chinese food, I feel like the best is in New York, so. Anywho, child, let's go ahead and go to lunch. I'm really, really excited. I'm happy to go spend time with the girlies. I told them we was getting brunch because I thought they would have brunch there, but they ain't got no brunch. So the girlies think we eat brunch. I'ma just be like, brunch? Who said that? Brunch? No, who said that? You know, like just act very surprised because I kind of lied to them. But I mean I, I lied, but I did it. I thought they would I assumed they would have brunch. So it was an assumption. But I never went back to correct my incorrect assumption so is that a lie or is you know what I misled them how about that I didn't really lie lie I you know I misled they ass but you know, they'll get over it it's Sunday forgive me I am so over the cold weather like <laughs> I am so over this cold weather <laughs> like that's why I never complain about the heat really I'm a summer baby to the to, to my core. I love the heat. I love to sweat. Make me sweat. Make me hotter. Okay. Make me sweat, baby. Okay. Sweating is my ministry. I love it. I love sweating. All right. This right here. Mm -mm. This is not cancer. Cancer girl weather. Not here for it at all. All right. Y'all, we ordered this chicken five times. I believe it's called their Vietnamese sticky chicken on their menu. It's incredibly good. We ordered five orders of this. It was too good. Y'all, I am telling you, these Vietnamese people don't put something in this chicken. The chicken was so good. Look at my reaction. Like, wait, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You see, you see that? Like, I just was shocked by how good it was. We ordered five orders of this chicken, y'all. It was so, it was so many orders of that chicken. The people in the kitchen came out and said, "Do y'all want anything other than chicken?" You know, we we make other things other than chicken in here. <laughs> the chicken was so damn good. Please go down to my kitchen and get that damn chicken. My kitchen, that damn chicken. Yo, this was their baked lobster. Oh my god, like. I don't know what these people put in this food and I'm like y'all I'm not being paid for this like it just is sincerely very very good and um, I know earlier I said it was a Thai restaurant they're actually Vietnamese it's so damn good I'm winning cup of chopsticks <laughs> 
Mm. Oh my god, am I the only one having issues here? No, you're not. I cannot Same get thing this I was out. <laughs> this is frustrating. I don't want to fight for my food now. Oh my god. You know what you're just giving? What? Mm. You ever seen that that, that meme with them two ladies? They're like two Arabic ladies and they're eating, and they both eating. They quiet. They just start to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That's what you was doing right there. <laughs> That's how I am when I eat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't do a little dance, baby. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm. What's well, that? I think I got this one to myself. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Chicken. Nah, I ain't gonna hold y'all. This lobster is. Mm -hmm. There's something happening. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> I thought you were in LA or something. I was, but I got back like a couple days ago. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. I swear, come on. Not again. You know, we tried to say, we need the money a little bit. One thing about Jesse, honey, she's gonna create the content. I am, okay? That's right. Where's our oyster video? Girl! Like it's November. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are so nice. Ooh. Yummy. Ooh. Ooh. What'd you get? I got I got chicken curry. Love the light. So much. I got um curry. Oh. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. And what'd you get, Tierra? Chocolate. <laughs> that does look good. That's real bomb. <laughs> The shrimp, eat pork? garlic noodle. I do eat pork sometimes. Anytime, anytime. Now we getting shot. Oh, that's, that's my son. That's my son. Oh, hi, son. Oh, hi, son. Oh, it's a thank you. Mude. 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 Sunday, Sunday fun day, right? Cheers! Thank you all for coming, okay? Good job, good job. Get you a friend that got a big ass light. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, um, you, need, you say you need more, big girl? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be. Ooh! Y'all want lime? Am I, am I getting a lime? Your nails ain't working. Okay, you get it. <laughs> am I getting a lime? They said, Royal your dinner. Yeah. Are you can't follow me, I text you. I got you, yes. yes. Thank you, Pat. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll send it to you. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. outside y'all oh my gosh that was so much fun i love 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 hanging out with lauren tiara sheila like i love i absolutely adore those girls like i i just adore them i really just get excited just getting to spend time with them we don't get to do it as much like as often as i would like to everybody's you know busy and like they're all married <laughs> I'm the only single girl um which kind of like which they never like make me feel a way about but as I'm sitting here I'm just like oh, I wish I was married like I really do I wish I was married I wish I was you know on a rainy day like this I wish I was going home to my husband I wish I you know one thing I love about Sheila like whenever we go out she always makes sure she orders a plate to take home to ace like no matter what it like we could be at like a burger king she gonna make sure she gets something for ace <laughs> to bring home and i really really i really love that about her um all of them just they love their husbands and they're all very very happy they're they're happy in their marriages and it just kind of just makes me sad sometimes like i'm happy for them like I'm so happy to see them doing well in their marriages, especially like th 
three black women like happy and secure like they're genuinely happy with their husbands but I feel like dang like what am I doing wrong like what am I doing wrong why have I not found like my husband or why hasn't my husband found me like what is it like what is it what is it like have I met my husband already and I just don't realize it or you know I don't know what I don't know what else I can do besides just you know just be me I don't really date often I'm thinking about getting on dating apps maybe but I don't really go on many dates I don't really meet a lot of men like that and I don't know like what it is like is there something that I'm not doing I don't know <laughs> I'm also like dang like am I gonna fall in love this year like am I gonna fall in love this year am I gonna like find that person that I'm gonna fall in love with this year like is it gonna happen is it gonna happen is this gonna year I finally finally find love chat I don't know I would love to because I really don't want to date anymore. I really want to just get married. Like, I really do. I want to get married, settle down, and start planning my family, child. I want my ass cracked! Meaning I want a child. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this year really happens. I have some stories that I would like want to, want to share with y'all, but. I'm actually not going to because I want to save them for this series that I'm writing. I had a series for the past like two and a half years that I've been trying to pitch to people and I'm like, you know what, given how I see the, the current state of Hollywood and you know how they're looking at black stories, I'm like, okay, I need to pivot. And so I have a new story that I'm going to write this week. Um, I'm gonna like my goal for the goal of like for the for the end of February is to have this pilot written I want a new pilot written um, but I really need to get my, my head in the game because I feel like once March hits I'm gonna be like it's gonna be a lot going on so, so yeah but anyway it's a rainy day in Georgia y'all look at all this rain Ugh, it is ugly outside Let's go home. Let's go home. You in particular, Koisha. Uh, First of all, my name is Koisha. So please be sure. Anybody in particular has a problem with almost every man. Every man is coming her. Uh, about last night, very impressive. <laughs> I had a good time, but it's time for me to get back to being married, so. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm ready for round five. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure. What did I? Were you out last night? I've got a very busy schedule today, so I'm going to go ahead and call you an Uber. Well, um, you should let me cook you dinner. Uh, no. Oh. That's not going to be able to happen. Like I said, i got a full schedule and a wife. So, tip for the Uber driver, I'm just going to leave it out here, okay? Can I have a kiss goodbye? Oh, uh, girl. Get home safe, okay? Thank you. You saw the wife on a nice man. You saw the wife on a nice man. You know what time it was? Get your ass home. Hey. <sighs> you could have told me you were coming home and we would plan something. Once again, Charlie fell apart. I mean, this should be fucking simple, right? I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah, you know me. All work, no play. Andre, what are you doing here? Oh, it's nice to see you too. What brings you to our doorstep? Well, oh, I've been investigating the rats of robberies in the neighborhood. We think there might be more than one person involved. Wanted to see if you guys had any trouble. Not the girl he was hunting. Nope. I haven't seen her. Okay. Well, if you do see anything, you can give me a call. Not like sure. you. Okay. Well, it's nice seeing you, Malia. I can't see me. I ain't gonna say this in front of Malia, but I invested in these robberies, went to a couple of spots, one spot in particular, I posted video footage and I saw you oh. at this moment. 
I ate this makeup. I ate this makeup. <laughs> All right, y'all. Work went well. Let me take this off. I have my heater on in the car, but I'll be so cold. You know, y'all know I'm in a remake. I'll be so cold, child. Okay, I'm in my car and I don't know how to turn off the emergency lights. <laughs> Thank you, darling. You motherfucking ice cold blueberry muffin. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Some zero looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Here it is. <laughs> no, it's right, like literally. No, it's, it's like <laughs> so I did it that's why it turned on like that I did it with my hands like oh my God. Mm -hmm. no what's the code no can I have a hot meal please a happy meal hot meal huh hot meal huh hot meal Oh. <laughs> and may I have two ash brown? We're not on lunch. We're not on breakfast anymore. Okay, can I have french fry? One small french fry? Anything else? That's it. You can pull around. Thank you. Do you want oatmeal still? Oui, yes. Okay, you can pull around. Thank you so much. Wait, they're not, they're not on breakfast. It's half past nine hours, eleven days, right? Back on yeah. them, they pass it. They pass it. I thought they would pass was all day. Let me ask you something. You guys don't do the breakfast all day? Uh, is it just some McDonald's that's do the breakfast all day? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. You are okay. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you so much. I'm back on point because it's about a shack, shack McDonald's have fed breakfast all day. When did that, when did that stop? Thank you. Oh, oh yes. Oh, it's no one fries. Mm-hmm. That's disgusting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This Israel and New Breed album, I think it's called Live. Live from another level. Oh my God. Like, that used to be my album, child. Okay, y'all know what time it is. It is Orange Theory time. You know, I wanted to try this Pilates class that I see a lot of the YouTube girlies doing. I wanted to do that, but baby, the Pilates class is $35 <laughs> per class. <laughs> Guess who not doing that? <laughs> not me, okay? $35, and it's not even a one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, what? Wait. It's not a one-on-one? -on -one. Yeah, nah. It's giving no. It's giving no. It's giving no, sweetie. Sorry, sweetie. I'm not doing it, sweetie. All right. Let's go ahead and... Do this class child i like to put my headphones on because i don't like listening to the music that they be playing sometimes i feel like the music the playlist just don't be playlisting for me sometimes at these um orange theory classes so that's that on that child so i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna hide my headphones in my bonnet because white people be really nosy oh my god like why are you wearing this or why it's like can you mind your non-african business it's black history month like why are you asking me all these questions during black history month like can you just mind your non-african business please like oh my god i forgot to take y'all inside with me um so y'all can see the workout this time <laughs> but my lord <sighs> my lord I am done. Oh, what's the time now? 
It is 514, 517. Oof, all right. I went to work. When I got home, I answered some emails. Then I came back out, went to the gym. Now it's time for me to figure out what I'm going to eat. I think I'm going to eat my leftovers from my kitchen. Y'all, my kitchen was so good. The restaurant that I took you guys to yesterday with Tiara, Lauren, and Sheila, it was so damn good. Please visit it. Like, it's really, really good. I'm going to edit up my footage so I can make a reel. But that restaurant was so damn good. So I think I'm just going to eat my leftovers from then and call this Monday a, a, a day. Call it a day. I am so tired. 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 I'm tired. I'm so tired. What's up, guys? It is Tuesday morning. We're getting ready for work. I didn't do, I didn't catch like all my makeup stuff, but this is the look. I have on this cardigan. And I don't know. I hate pants. I really hate pants. Like, if I could wear skirts every day, I would. Like, I really just really hate pants. Um, I got these jeans from Ross. I got it at Ross. My no, what's la machete potato style? One thing about Haitian Haitians love Ross, baby. Consisting of John Battalion, Mary Jane. When my mama does come to visit one day, I'm gonna take it to the Ross. We have a Ross that's right by the crib. And a TJ Maxx. Wait a minute, TJ. Jesse, minimal no us. I can hear her now. Jessica, minimal no us la. And I know us la. So I got these jeans from Ross. So I don't know. Which one should I do? Should I do the darker one or should I do the, the lighter one? I don't know. I've never shown you guys. I've never shown you guys like my makeup room. This is it, but it's like my makeup and closet room, but it's not organized at all. I don't know what to do here. Like I really don't know what to put in this thing. Like I've seen so many of the, the girlies like you know put their makeup and wardrobe look together and i don't know i don't feel like i'm a i don't feel like i'm a beauty girl i don't feel like i'm a stylish girl i don't know what to do but it's nice and i'll show you guys what it looked like before but like this is actually supposed to be like my den area like my family room area but bitch i ain't got no family <laughs> i mean my family is like not here but it's like i live alone so it's like I'm gonna do what I want with the with the house, you know? So I don't know, it, it, it's really nice in here. I just don't know what to put in here. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Okay, one thing. The other day when I went to lunch with Tierra and um, Sheila and Lauren, I wore this, right? So I'm not, I'm not really a fan. I wasn't really a fan of Jazz Club. Can you guys see it? It's replica of Jazz Club. I saw Kyra Amunique. She wore it. She like raved about it. And I bought it and I was like, girl, this smell like wood. But I didn't tell her that, but I'm like, this lady got me buying perfume that smell like wood. What the fuck? But I wore it the other day and baby, when it settles, oh my God. When this settles, and also shout out to y'all who told me not to rub in. Like, y'all saw me rubbing my perfume once. You're like, no, Jess, you're not supposed to rub in your perfume. See, I'm telling y'all, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not a, I'm trying to be like a beauty girl. Like, I'm really trying to be like in my beauty girl era. I've always like loved makeup like that. I've always loved makeup uh, and my hair and stuff. Like, makeup and hair, I could tell you. But, mind you, shout, shout, mind you, shout out to these Ghana braids. These are, over six weeks old <laughs> and I refreshed them with my Mayel um, curl mousse in the morning I swear by this like I swear by this if you have boho braids buy this refresh your hair every day I'm pro I promise you like and mind you this is synthetic like I'm wearing synthetic hair so imagine what it does for the human hair anyway girl when this settles oh my Love, 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 love the set. Ali is senior, enforced discipline throughout the world. John reserved his affection for his mother, Julia, who was the peacekeeper of the home. Unfortunately, though, Julia's mental struggles led her to confinement in a mental institution in 1972. When John Jr. was only 17 years old. Oh, I like these things, but not with this. Because... Alcohol, Harry, trying his hand at modeling, 
and earning an accounting degree. A degree which will eventually oh my God. force her into a continuous state of confusion and discomfort. Leaning into this, John was also a man of many marks. And so, despite the verbal abuse, everyone's perspective is pride and joy. Clothing situation going on here. What goes together, Mary would eventually defend herself and fight back it, and was given two years of probation. Not bad. This meant that John was no longer going to be sitting to with Mary, can't really. which kind of makes sense because so, she had already I always have this daughters. problem here. Too. In fact, he would it's still like, see them weekly. Babysitting tiny girl. I don't have crazy hips or crazy butt. Mother's house like, I don't really, really have vision. Much of a butt. That John would never harm his children. And that for all, he loved them. Chat, we're gonna make this look work because I'm running late. As I've already said, he had never It is what it is, chat. Alright. We're at work. Changing my sneakers into my shoes. How do you like that camera, Jesse? Hmm? How do you like that camera? I love it. This is my Sony. So like, it's like a vlogging camera. Oh! Mm -hmm. Say hi, Tan. What up? How you doing? Tanner, what's your Valentine's Day um, plans? I got besides... a date. Got really? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, you ain't tell me we had a date. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, 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 you check your Google invites. Check your Google invites, Jesse. Uh, but you got a date? You got a hot date? Yeah, I got a hot date scheduled. Um, actually, doing it a couple days early because my date's going out of town for Valentine's. Oh, no. On a black girl's trip to Vegas. So we're gonna she probably had that pre-scheduled. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, so we do her early dinner. Got her a, a funny card, a robe. Uh, yeah. Trying to get a piece of jewelry. Before nice. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Working. What are you doing, Jesse? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> Not a damn thing. <laughs> Nobody loves me. I don't believe that. I don't know why I don't believe me when I say I do not have a man. Jesse, because we see her we, <laughs> we, see, we see her and we hear her on a regular basis talking about, I don't have a man. Come on now. No, but I really don't have a man. Men are jumping through their phones. That is not true. Into your DMs. That is not true. On the day. I think you say that just because. Let me see phone. your phone. <laughs> I think you say that because I'm your co-worker. No. And you're being nice. No. Hi. I'm not nice at all. What's up, Shay? Oh, you're not nice? No, I'm not being nice. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't have a man. Like. But there's men, but there's, there's there got to be men in the orbit. You know what I'm saying? No. Right now? You don't believe me? They, they're there. They, it might not be obvious to you, but they're trying to like. My friends do say I don't, I don't do a good job at, at realizing when a guy likes me. They do tell me that. They do tell me that. Yeah. But for me, it's like, if you don't say I like you, what, how am oh, I supposed to know you like me? Jesse, they don't give you money. That's the last <laughs> thing that a man will ever do. Okay, so the how... The worst thing... Okay, so tell me. <laughs> the worst thing... Let me get this camera so the people, yes. know, so the people know what I'm talking about. Yes. The worst thing... Well, you have to put the thing oh, here so we can... Around. Mm -hmm, so we can make sure it's getting both okay. of us. Right. Okay. Let me, Jesse. They have to give me money. Yes. Right. So tell... Okay, tell me how Give do you I money. Know, tell me how do I know when a guy likes me. Listen, the worst way to know if a guy likes you is waiting for him to tell you. Every time that I've ever told a girl that I've liked her, it has never worked out. So what I try to do is I try to create a scenario where I'm like, hey, do you want to go have lunch or go have cocktails or like create some sort of evening thing to invite them to. Now, some men are very good at planning. So the things they come up with might not sound fun. Mm -hmm. But if you're getting invites from somebody, it's because they like you. They might not be, oh, I love you so much, you know, but they're okay, inviting let me, Okay, let me ask you something. Okay, yeah. so back in December, I did go on a date. Now, mm -hmm. I didn't like where he took me. Okay. It was like a, it was like a family style restaurant. It okay. wasn't, it wasn't romantic. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then like the next outing, he wanted to be at his house. He wanted to. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's I understand. Like, yeah, right. So I was like, okay, no. You're not wrong. <laughs> not wrong at all. Yeah. A lot of men are good. Uh, a lot of men are good planners. Cause they're not yeah, thinking about these things. They're yeah, not but he's not even trying to date. He's just trying to let's, let's trying go to smash. Ahead. Yeah. That's how it buffet feels and me. smash. Right. It's like well, damn. All you can eat dessert and smash. Right. Like you trying to get the appetizer. You trying to go right to the Golden Corral? Exactly. <laughs> What's cracking? HK, how do I? How can you tell when a guy likes you as a girl? Um, I don't know. I think. Do you feel like he's paying you attention? 
that is so like. What was the question? How, how can you tell when a guy likes you? And, and if you I, have to ask it, he don't. And when I That's say, how I feel. Yeah, like you have well, that like, question in your head, like, because me and who trying to apply pressure, they trying to apply pressure. Right. Like, it's almost like to the point where you like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm okay, let me like, tell you, Cherry thinks that this guy likes me because, like, okay, he was a chef, right? And he mm -hmm. sent a whole bunch of food here that one day. Like and yeah. Cherry was like, oh, he likes you. I'm like, the man never asked me on a date, ever. Because he was scared. Because that's he, 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 Like, for the last two years. Love language. Yeah. And he can cook. And he can cook. Wait, hold up. For two That's years, he sent you food? Like, for the last two years, he just does nice gestures for me. Like, but I'm like. And he's like, never been like. He likes you. He never been like, come by the restaurant? He's I've come by the restaurant. But how many times am I going to come by the restaurant? Okay. But, but are you, are you uh, serving the tennis ball back towards him? What do you mean? Like, are you doing well, nice oh, gestures in return to him? Because, like, it seems like it's one-sided at this point in the game. If he's just sending you oh, stuff. Oh, I didn't and, think about that. Yeah, like. I don't know. Like I don't know what you could do for him. It's a nice gesture that's that not like a physical so offering. Much food. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. He gave us enough food for all of us. And she was like, "Oh, he just gave it to me, but he doesn't like me." I'm like, "Girl, where was I with the food?" Kid? <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. No, you weren't here. You weren't here. Again, like, and I didn't even ask him. He no, just was like, No, no, I didn't ask him. What style of food? It was like soul food. It was soul food. It was really good. You couldn't even sing it. I felt like, bad. I didn't have enough for Trav. Hey, how you doing today? A little winky face emoji, just keeping a little bit, just hitting with a little. Maybe I'll do that. You just send him a picture with you flexing your abs, but like, this is my stomach after the food. <laughs> And that is not. Then see what the response is. Like, it's like a subtle thirst trap and a, 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 a subtle thirst trap. Yeah, and so a, so a, a reciprocation. Help me with that one too. Oh, so help me with the oven at home. I don't know, guys. Yeah, it definitely sounds like just off of the little bit that you've described that he does like you, and he's probably just maybe socially awkward, doesn't like rejection. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I, I do think he's socially awkward. Morning. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Sylvia. Hi. Hi, Sylvia. What's up? What's up? Hi. Hey. All right, work is done. Uh, I just went to Publix and picked up a couple things. Um, some boar's head turkey. Some. Diced tomatoes. This Publix didn't have no diced onions, and I should have known not to come to this Publix. It's when I was coming up to the Publix, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> this Publix don't ever got nothing. <laughs> like, I'm in the hood. Um, so, yeah, but. Alright, I have a lot of calls to make today. Like, so I have. So. I have a travel company that I'm working on because I do know that a lot of you guys want to go on trips with me and stuff like that. And I'm just trying to figure out how to do it and do it well. I thought about like maybe partnering up with other travel companies, but you know what? I can do this on my own. Not totally on my own because I do have a partner, but um, yeah, I'm going to do my own travel company and I'm going to do it my way. Um, so prayerfully we'll have everything up because the first trip I want to do is in June and um, I'm really excited about you know having that all done all the like the itinerary all the logistics taken care of and then being able to shoot like a fire a fire promotion promotional uh, video for it um, what else do I want to do I also have a company that I, I want to start and I really want to have it like off the ground by the end of the year I'm not going to say what it is, but it's going to be, I think it's going to go along with what I want to do with the, with, with the traveling company. But then also, had a meeting last night about the series that I wrote. And I'm just realizing the person that I really want to do things with, I don't think he's in the space I need him to be. And so I'm just going to do this myself and I'm going to rewrite a new story. I'm going to write a new story. I still want to tell the original story, but make a long story short, the first story that I wanted to write was, it was like a horror comedy. So, and it was like, it was a Haitian horror comedy. Um, still is. I still want to tell that story, but the way Hollywood is moving, I don't know if I 
would get that and I've had a couple people that are in Hollywood read it and it's like uh, I just don't like the vibes that they're giving me off of it but also like maybe I need to dream bigger like maybe I just need to dream bigger and just you know like sometimes you're scared to go above certain people but I might be scared but that's not gonna stop me (laughs) so I think I'm gonna aim bigger and just refine it as much as I can and then also write this new story that I want to write it's also a Haitian story too and then um, there is another story that I want to tell based on a true story in Haiti as well so there's like three stories there's two of them are series one of them is definitely a movie and uh, yeah just want to have that stuff I think the month of February I just really want to focus on having those stories written out and flushed out because then come March I feel like my year is really gonna get like start to get really busy so I want to have that flushed out all right so anyway child let's go home let's go home let's go make ourselves this turkey sandwich before we gotta get on the phone with people make all these phone calls and emails and all that so Let's go, child. Y'all see that? Come on. So good. Mm. 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 This, 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 that you set up for yourself. So keep that in mind, alright? We'll do it just a little bit different. Alright, so power off it. 1% or greater on the incline. Right if you dog in the sign that pace somewhere just above that base. You got 10 and a half minutes to work. Hit that clear screen button, bottom left of your tablet in 3, 2, 1. Clear. I make magic with these hundreds, watch them disappear. Uh huh. Big ol' raindrops up in my ear. If you gon' name drop, let's get it clear. Just you.